Hey guys, thanks for joining me. You either joined me because you were looking up the Fox Alley hip waders and wanted a quick review on them, or you're just stumbling through and uh, checking some of the videos out on my channel. But let's get to uh, the main part of this video. So this year I decided I'm going to upgrade a lot of stuff, or the stuff I had really wasn't functioning to the way I needed it. So one of the things, I was going down to Maryland into the marshes for uh, seek a deer. Years ago, I had some rubber uh, hip waders. They got dry rotted. They cracked. No good. So in a pinch, I needed to find new hip waders. I stumbled across these Fox Ellies. There's a lot of mixed reviews, but one thing I'm going to give you guys advice, try not to listen to too many reviews because there's really good equipment out there that has the same problems, and it is what it is. But for 40 bucks. I give the Fox Ellie's two thumbs up. Um, they've got the heat welded seams for the boots. Any of their stitching is double stitched and it's got the uh, tape on it to seal it off. They're 100% waterproof. The outside is 420 denier nylon and they got a light PVC inside. That's where the weight is, four pounds. Great for packing. Uh, I used these for the full week that I was down sick of deer hunting. Went through some pretty nasty stuff. I uh, had to walk through fields, sour gum, um, some soybeans. That stuff's nasty. So basically the one review you may see if you're on Amazon is that they're uncomfortable. Granted, they're rubber boots. Um, so like if you step on stones and stuff like that, you're going to feel it. I have a solution for that. I went out and I got myself some of those Dr. Scholl's gels inserts. These things are really comfortable now. Because when I first found out about the Young Comfort, I came back up to New York. I was whitetail hunting. I got a new uh, piece of property to go out, but had to cross two creeks. So going across the, the stones and stuff, it was pretty sore on my feet. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, lie to you. But that night, I went out and I got those Dr. Scholl's gel inserts. They worked great. The one thing Fox Ellie did, too, is they have this cutout here. So it comes up, hugs your crotch nice. They got the Velcro suspenders. Keeps them nice and taut. Um, I do have jeans on. Uh, no base layer. They're a little bit, you know... I don't, I don't see why you couldn't, like, say, get a base layer underneath. I saw some complaints about that. Too tight. Um, guy was talking about duck hunting, but it is what it is. Um, that's where you probably want to get into neoprene and spend some more money. So the people that spend a little bit of money and expect these great things to happen, I don't understand the logic on it. Uh, I'm definitely going for cost effectiveness because I don't have the ton of money to spend. And hence my reviews coming. I don't get these from Fox Alley. I don't get any of my stuff for free. We all do. We wish we did. We wish we were the, you know, Steve Rinellas of the world. And, you know, you probably have stuff offered to you and you, you get to use it and, you know, put the product out there for people. But if you're, like, trying to be mindful like myself, hopefully my reviews will help you. Like I say, I give these things two thumbs up. So, guys, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I got a lot of great videos coming out. Coming to my jet sled, ice fishing's coming. That's going to be, uh, you know, coming to an end too. So the jet sled modifications are almost at the end. All right. Peace out, guys. This episode of Appalachian Timber Ghost Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Wild Kingdom Soap. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook.